Hey, Karen here, and welcome back to Front Mission 3. Now, I know already I've messed up my release schedule for these videos. Um, I don't know, I don't really have any good excuse, although right now I do have a lot of stuff going on with getting my car fixed and possibly moving and yada yada. But, um, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I at least did, like, a proper video this week. So, it might be a little on the short side. Um, partly because, as you can see, I'm actually just doing a simulator, because I forgot that, because, because I'm getting ready to go do the fight, the whole, uh, battle with Tian Lei, um, that kind of, I mean, it doesn't necessarily require you to level up your other guys, but, like, it's kind of a good idea. Because then at least, I mean, like... I don't know, I mean, it helps to level them up just so you, they're actually doing some decent damage and stuff, but otherwise all you really need to do is, like, level up their equipment, but that costs money, so if you don't have much, you have to go run simulators and stuff anyway. So I'm doing that for a bit. Um, I already did, like, I actually tried to record a couple of videos before this, like, last week, I think, and just wound up not keeping them. Because ran into issues with things getting hot again, and the noise of my fan in the background, and now I have the air conditioner, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just on its normal quieter fan setting at the moment. So hopefully that doesn't get picked up too bad. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do here. Yeah, I, for the most part, I think I have this team set up, like, about the same as my main team, which, I don't know. I, I, that's usually how it works out, for whatever reason, because I'm just used to it, or whatever. I would like to try something different if I can. Yeah, and the note making videos though, actually, uh, I've been kind of thinking lately, like, I don't know, maybe Let's Plays aren't really a good choice for me. I don't know for a fact if that's how I feel, but at least, like, at the moment, because, I mean, obviously I'm having problems keeping up recording every week and whatnot, but I just don't really know what I would do as an alternative. I was kind of thinking maybe I'd just do, like, I don't know, maybe just like little review videos or something, or like little uh, gameplay tips for like, I don't know, game by game or whatever. And of course now I'm recording a train goes by in the background, so... Pardon if that comes through, which I'm sure it will. Uh, that's right, now you get to actually see topple shot. Ooh. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Front Mission 3 only has the one normal topple shot. I don't think there's a topple shot 2 in this one. So I believe Front Mission 4 had a topple shot 1 and 2. Like one, like one of them reduced their AP by half, and the other one reduced it to 0. Yeah, back on the note of uh, making videos and whatnot. Um, I know I, I keep mentioning that I was. Oh, damn it! Well, so much for him getting any experience here. But uh, I keep mentioning that I wanted to do some Warframe videos, like aside from just my streams or whatever. But um, yeah, obviously I still haven't gotten around to doing that. Still not even a hundred percent sure if I want to do it, but. I don't know. We'll see. If I do it, you'll see it up on the channel, but it might be a while. Um, but yeah, like the idea of what I wanted to do with Warframe was sort of like a beginner's guide type thing. Um, 
And like I, I may even do that, like more often with other games, because well, one of the things I wanted to use this channel like as a personal excuse for was just to finally tackle some of my backlog. But like I don't know if I want to, because like especially if it's my first time through a game, like I don't know. Because on, on one hand, obviously your first experience with the game is going to be like more entertaining, I guess. Like, from a viewer standpoint on here. But, um... I don't know, I mean, like, if it's my first time playing a game, I like to be able to just take my time and... enjoy it for whatever it is. And not have to worry about, like... You know, like, just wasting a lot of time on a boring video or whatever. So, I don't know, like... Like, Let's Plays for, like... Because I, I started trying, like, the whole uh, new play thing with uh, Atelier Sophie. And that wound up just, uh... Like, I, I still haven't even finished that game yet, but... I don't know, like... Well, th that particular type of game, just, like, th there's a lot of repetition and stuff, so I... It wound up, like, not really being ideal for, uh, like, a YouTube video. At least not for a Let's Play. But, like, I don't know, just generally speaking, like, I, I'd rather be able to just sit back and play the game at my own pace, do what I want to do. And then if I want to, like, revisit it and... Because, like, one of the things... One of my goals for this channel was just, like, to cover games that, like, often seemed, like, overlooked or, like, just gen generally games that I think, like, deserve more attention than they seem to have gotten over the years. Whether it's like older ones or newer ones, whatever. Not necessarily like just indie games. I mean, there are even a lot of like Front Mission Three here. Like, I don't know, like Front Mission Three. I haven't really had the fortune of having like a lot of friends who are into this type of game to begin with. So I like I haven't really seen like a lot of people around the internet and stuff talking about these games. But like the strat RPG here, like especially this like turn-based type here. Like, that in itself is a kind of niche that, like, just only so many people are into. But, like, nonetheless, like, I feel like it's a really, like, especially for a genre and everything, I, I think it does a really good job with its whole battle system and customization and everything. And I usually can't really comment too much on the story. I mean, like, it's good enough. It's interesting following Luca and everything and figuring out what he's up to. But just like compared to other games, especially because it's a very different type of story compared to like a lot of like the more fantasy based ones. So like I don't really know how to like compare it to other games. And uh Yeah, now that I think about it, I get the feeling I've kinda of rambled like on and off topic. So hopefully I'm making some modicum of sense somewhere. main thing I think I was trying to go on about was just potentially playing games and then revisiting them to do YouTube videos and like it either as like review videos or even just like beginner's guides like telling you you know this is what's up with the game and here are some ideas of how to get you started or just general tips of like hey if you're gonna start playing this keep an eye out for these things Oh my god. This particular, like, simulator or simulation mission is just so ridiculous. Like, I've had problems with it in the past, too, where, like, I didn't really have any, like, too many issues with it, like, the original mission. But just going back and revisiting it as a simulation, for whatever reason, is, like, so much harder. I think it's probably because there are so many more freaking enemies. Like, looking at it now, there's, like,. One, two, three down here, three up there, and I... Th did I destroy one yet? I don't think I've even destroyed one unit yet. I guess I said that's from one of my guys. Yeah, I don't know. For whatever... Well, it also probably doesn't help that I'm using my other team and whatnot, but... Um, yeah, 
go for it. I should actually pay more attention to like what my character's weapon skill levels are. Their weapon skill levels actually aren't usually that bad, like compared to my other group. It's just a matter of upgrading their equipment. Let me go see Lenny, for example. Alright, well, his melee is garbage because he didn't really start with melee. But his missile is C. I think most of my other guys are like C3 or B1, somewhere around there. So that's not too bad. And actually in my previous videos, uh, Lenny actually managed to learn the uh, pilot eject skill from the Fora's uh, body. And it is exactly like what, what it sounds like. Your Vonser gets, if your Vonser gets destroyed, there's a chance that it'll trigger and it'll just eject the pilot before the Vonser's destroyed. So that way your pilot can still run around and do stuff. Maybe you're lucky and you ejected someone else and you can just hop in their Vonser or whatever. Either that or you can just run around and missile the crap, or not missile, but pistol the crap out of everything. And I would wonder how Linny is the only survivor right now, but he has a missile, so he's staying off out of the way. Not to mention he also has a shield, so... Uh, who do I want to go after next? Not like it really matters, because I'm going to run out of missiles and get my ass kicked anyway. Oh yeah, I keep talking about like uh, my approach to this channel and what I'm doing for videos and whatnot. Um, if I do stop doing Let's Plays, I mean, I, I do want to at least finish these ones that I've started here. The Front Mission 3 and uh, Digimon World. Digimon World, I'm actually like literally like right at the end. I actually went off screen after the last recording session and uh, basically beat the game. So I know for a fact I can do it. Um, my main dilemma was just, uh, because I still had a factorial town to do, and, like, if I remember correctly, I think the story for that actually reveals something, like, directly related to, like, the final boss of the game and stuff. So, like, I was kind of thinking I wanted to go back and do that before I finished the game. But, like, I don't know, especially because I keep running into whatever problems with releasing videos, like, I, I kind of want to just finish the game and be done with it. And plus, you know, I guess I should technically leave out some things for other people to check out when they play it. <laughs> as much of a BS excuse as that sounds like. I mean, technically, I still haven't... I, I haven't... Well, yeah, there's, there's a couple things in that game I still haven't really done, so it's, it's not like a 100% completionist playthrough. But yeah, so... Like I said, Digimon World's pretty much right there at the end. And Front Mission 3, I still have, like, I might be about halfway through now, I think. Maybe. I think I'm playing Emma's uh, route, so. I think I have something like 40 or, 40 or 50 hours put into this so far. So, yeah, it should be about halfway. Stun Punch! Congratulations, Lenny, you did something. Yeah, don't mind me if I pick on Lenny a lot. I've always just kind of... I don't know. Not really liked him. He's <laughs> a kind of random, insignificant character in the game. and He comes with, like, 
crap equipment, so... The only thing good about the 4, as far as I'm concerned, is really just the arm smash on the arms. The legs have escape, which is not bad, but... Generally speaking, I just don't really care too much for it. Well, let's see if he uses Pilot Eject when he gets blown up. Yep. Seems to have a pretty decent activation rate, like, considering it's specifically when you get destroyed. And go use your pistol, Lenny. But yeah, back on the topic of the current videos, uh, if Digimon World I can wrap up, and I probably will, but, uh, yeah, and I, I guess that'll give me some more time to work with Front Mission 3, because then after I finish Digimon World, I'll probably just leave it as is and not do anything else. And then I'll just, uh, keep working on Front Mission 3, I guess. I might even increase the frequency of videos for it, because, like, if that's the only game that I'm playing, then that's less I have to record for, so I can record more for it, and probably do, like, two videos a week for that. If I can stay on top of things, we'll see. But, um, yeah, that was it for training. Um... Yeah, before I wrap this video up, let me go check out everyone's uh, weapon levels and stuff. Actually, come to think of it, how do I ch Well, I guess I can just check out the weapons. <clears throat> Alright, so... Yeah, Kazuki's melee is D, so that's pretty up there. Uh, what's everyone else got? Oh, yeah, her melee is B3, but that's because I don't really melee that often with her. She mostly just hangs back and uses missiles, which she has at um, C2. And then he's got D2 for machine guns. He's got C3 for rifle. And C1 for missiles. Now comparing to my other team, she has B3, so she's good to go with shotguns. Or wait, no. Um, Yeah, I, I keep mixing it up because it's like backwards. Yeah, B3 is... It's on its way there. So she's doing pretty good with that. And because she's dual wielding, like usually get more experience when you're using like two of the same thing especially because I think when you use the double skills uh, you, you do actually separately get experience for each hit then you are B2 on rifle you are just B on melee as expected and C on missile so, Linny has some work to do. And you are C on melee. Which I think the main reason for that is just because, like, because he's a melee bonzer, he keeps getting attacked and killed during my uh, training. So, he hasn't really had a chance to get much experience yet. It's one more reason I should go do the Fukushima simulator and just get as much experience as I can before he dies. Alright, but yeah, th that'll be it for this video. Um, I know it's kind of just a filler video, nothing going on with the story, but I wanted to at least post something just to update the situation on what's going on here. Um, so yeah, I can't guarantee I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and Thursday, like I said. But I mean, I have my air conditioner right now, so I shouldn't have to worry about overheating and stuff. I just gotta try to make sure that the noise level isn't too bad. 
And then, like I said, I'm probably going to be moving, like, with any luck, probably within the next week or two. So I don't know if I'll have time to get everything set up and start recording again for that or not. Um, actually, depending on how things go, I might not even have internet for a while, so... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the most I can do is just say I'll, I'll try to do what I can, but... Otherwise, just when I have videos, you'll see them. If you don't, then, uh... Like, basically just check in Tuesday. If I have a video up, I'll probably have one up Thursday, too. And if I don't have one up Tuesday, then I'm probably just skipping that week. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, hopefully I can try to get back on track here. And, uh, I guess I'll see you around.